Tonight, Mario Cuomo is being remembered. The former three-term governor of New York died yesterday, just hours after his son Andrew began his second term as governor of New York. Cuomo became a revered figure in Democratic politics in the 1980s, especially after one speech in San Francisco. Here's Jim Axelrod. A shining city is perhaps all the president sees from the portico of the White House. And the it was the summer of 1984, and Mario Cuomo's job at the Democratic Convention was to make the case against Ronald Reagan. Mr. President, you ought to know that this nation is more a tale of two cities than it is just a shining city on a hill. That night, Cuomo became his party's loudest voice and liberalism's sharpest defender. The Republicans believe that the wagon train will not make it to the frontier unless some of the old, some of the young, some of the weak are left behind by the side of the trail. We Democrats believe that we can make it all the way with the whole family intact. Born to an immigrant grocer and his wife, Cuomo grew up right behind the store in the New York City borough of Queens. Good enough at baseball to play a year in the minors, he chose law school instead, then never looked back, winning three terms as governor of New York. Mario Zibella. A bare-knuckled hero to his supporters, he was rigidly arrogant to his critics. Why haven't you announced yet? Please keep moving. Twice he flirted with running for president, only to decide not to. That it would be in the best interest of the Democratic Party that I abandon any such effort now. Mario Cuomo may have frustrated a generation of Democrats with his decision not to run, but after this 1984 interview with 60 Minutes, no one should have been surprised. The idea that I could come from behind my mother and father's grocery store in South Jamaica, where they didn't speak the language and I didn't until I was quite advanced myself, that we could come in one generation to this, the highest seat in the state of New York, that's enough for a lifetime. Two months ago, Cuomo celebrated the re-election of his son Andrew as governor of New York. It would be the last public appearance of a man with uncommon ambition. It didn't lead to Pennsylvania Avenue. Cuomo was always just fine where he was. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.